Hey, what's up guys? It's Top Shelf here. Welcome to another video. So today we've got the OBS Studio best recording slash streaming settings uh, for now in 2018 that I'm using. So first off, before anything, if you don't have OBS Studio, you gotta go to obsproject.com. I'll have the link in the description and you can go right here, click Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on what system you have, or you can do a uh, download over here and, you know, download the 32-bit and stuff. But now that we have OBS open, you, you won't have anything, no scenes. These are my scenes for like when I'm you know going to get something up put this screen up or like I have my stream starting soon screen um, I don't suggest using those if you're not streaming on Twitch um, if you're on YouTube don't use those just because it's gonna be a video after so you don't want all that wait time um, but I I'm streaming on Twitch for now because I got the community guideline strike you know bad time obviously so I got to stream to Twitch which I hate it's terrible I want to stream to YouTube so bad uh, but here we go go into settings first things first put theme to dark just trust me on it just do it it's it's just trust me why would you not do it you know stream you'll find your stream key on Twitch you should know how to get there it's like on your dashboard and your settings and then put your server wherever you're closest to so I'm closest to New York so I put that just put the city that's closest to you, okay? It'll be the best time for your stream quality and, you know, everything. Here we go. Output. I zoomed it in just because these are the settings you're going to want to use 100%. These are the best settings. Um, so you can screenshot them. Just take a look at them. I know uh, the window is very small for the settings. And a lot of YouTubers, they have these big monitors, you know, 1920 by 1080 or 4K even. And so the, the thing looks so small in the video, you know? So I thought I'd do, do you guys the favor, zoom in and do it. Like this is, this is revolutionary. I'm sure no one's zoomed in on the settings, like at, at least to my knowledge. Here we go. Streaming, just do one audio track, X264. Um, if you want to use NVENC, you can. I don't know why you would. Use X264, it's gonna use your CPU, it's good. Uh, don't rescale output rate control CBR obviously that means constant bitrate that's mean you're gonna have the same quality throughout the whole stream uh, 5,000 6,000 just um, just you know do it in that range of 4,000 to 6,000 um, here just because depending on your computer if you have a better computer you can probably do 6,000 if you have worse internet though you want to turn the uh, number down a bit you can even go like 5500 or you know different numbers like that you can do 4700 if that's gonna work out for you this is trial and error you're gonna have to run some test streams but I'm just telling you what range is the best like because this is all different things like I have a pretty good computer you may not have a good computer uh, you may, may have a great computer so you could do the 6000 and put out that quality but your internet may not be able to do it so you know it's just all tri trial and error uh but yeah just just trust me do it in that range um keyframe interval two seconds cpu usage faster or fast depending on how good of a cpu you have uh the slower it is on the settings the um better quality and the more cpu usage it is uh, profile high and then just leave these two blank and so now for recording type you want to use standard uh, find your recording path whatever folder you want to record to if you have a C and a D drive definitely suggest using the D drive um, I'm not recording here so it doesn't matter where it is recording format you want MKV trust me on it it's good uh, you can do audio tracks and then um, if you need it in mp4 for your editing uh, software which I do um, you take the MKV file so let me just get okay, here file remux recordings uh, you want to go you find your file put it in there it's gonna take a bit you click remux take some time puts it into mp4 file 
uh, I'll hit close there get the settings back up but yeah it turns it into an mp4 file so it it's safe against crashes because mkv just saves everything it's great um nvink h264 instead of x264 you want to do that and choose how many audio tracks you have don't mix them all into one or just two you know however many audio things you have make that an audio track just for the recording because you probably won't have music in the background it's gonna be you can put that in your editing software so you know um here cbr you want to use constant bit rate you can use a cqp if you want um again the lower the number the better but uh i wouldn't suggest it use cbr and now it's kind of the opposite of the streaming you don't want to use 5000 you want to use like 50 or 60000 because you want to have that high bit rate for your recording because you want that high quality uh recording this is just trust me on it uh five or fifty thousand sixty thousand you know you can go up seventy thousand you know depends how good your computer is and how big of a file size you want it to be because with these settings with the nvink um the two keyframe interval just have that on but you're gonna have preset high quality and then profile high that's gonna keep the quality as high as it can be like in sony vegas where you have the profile you can choose high that's the same thing as this uh this is so you want to have it on high and then high quality and then just leave these all the same but yeah that's basically everything for recording audio just leave it at 160 or 96 whatever you want um audio choose wherever your sound's coming from and stuff video keep it at 1920 by 1080 or if you want to do 4k um if you have to do 1280 by 720 because your uh computer's that bad uh just do uh output scaled resolution do that to uh find 1280 by 720 you want to use uh Lanxos, which is sharpen scaling 32 samples for when you're doing output just so the quality is as good as it can be and 60 fps um because why would you not stream in 60 fps when it's the standard nowadays you know it's not you know 2012 where everything is 30 fps you know everything is 60 fps nowadays you know youtube even supports 4k 60 fps so at least 720 60p is what uh the minimum quality you want on your streams or videos even hotkeys choose these if you want uh, i don't really use them in advanced process priority you want to have that above normal just so it's working more towards obs so you can have that higher quality because it's putting in more work to it you know that's just how you want to have it um but yeah guys hope you did enjoy this video if you did hit that like button subscribe but but as always it's been top shelf and i'm out guys Shawty know I kill people, real people From the trenches where it's real lethal, so real regals Big body with your bill boy, ill boy Nigga need to find his chill boy